Inception said recently in a big rant video about EAFC24 that everyone plays the same. They all play 4-3-2-1, some play 4-4-2, or a lot now play 5-back. We are the answer to his problems. <laughs> We are taking this to the next level with the 3 4 2 1. You would have seen it in a recent video, and the video gained a little bit of traction on the underground formation community. People wanted to know what was going on. How was I able to play this beautiful, gorgeous football and get 16 wins on champs? I'm not saying it's professional level, but it's better than your average player, whilst playing a tactic that most people would refuse to play whilst using players that most people would refuse to play because they don't think they're good enough, they don't fit the meta. But it's possible if you just give it a go, if you just play with a bit of pizzazz, a bit of style, and you all seem to enjoy the video. So I thought I would just do a quick rundown of the tactics, some of the goals I scored, some of the positions I'd recommend, the players you have to go with, and whatnot. So yeah, endure me, if you will. Indulge me, not endure me, what is wrong with me? Indulge me, a bit like Wonka's chocolate, if you will as I show you a world of wonderful imagination. The most important thing to know are the 3 4 2, 1 rules. It doesn't matter exactly what your custom tactics are, it doesn't matter your player instructions or your players, if you don't play by these rules, you won't play the sort of football I was playing and you, you won't enjoy it as much, honestly, you won't enjoy it as much. Those rules are carrying the ball. It's a really, really important formation you can play fast, you can knock it about a lot, but what you need to do is have the bravery to actually dribble. And I'm not talking about getting it with Nedved in my case and Messi and beating people with technical dribbling. No, what I'm talking about is carrying it with your defensive players. Xhaka, Daly Blind, Kosunu at left centre back. Like having the bravery to carry the ball 30 yards with them to create space to get other people up the field because. The whole point of a free back is a numbers advantage. You're saying, look, I've got less defensively, so I can have more offensively. So if you can bring a defender out too, get Xhaka more involved, that's the way to do it. But defensively, you need to make sure you don't run players out. I actually gave up on this originally because I just conceded so many goals. Because I, I'm, I'm gung-ho. I want to get that ball back as soon as I lose it. So we, at first, didn't have any custom tactics on defensively. Um, but then we did actually move to press after possession loss, so it did it a bit more automatically. Because when it wasn't, I'd suddenly find I'm using Cannavaro 50 yards up the pitch and trying to win the ball back. So you need to make sure when you don't have the ball, if you don't win on that initial press, hold off. You know, you have to kind of let the AI defend for you somewhat and just try not to let anyone get pulled out, otherwise you are going to get picked off. And lastly, the biggest rule of all, make it pretty. What's the point in playing attacking football if you're not going to try and do fun little flicks? first time passes in the final third, sexy little dribbles, like the whole point of football. People people will disagree with this, but it is beauty. It's trying to do cool shit, especially on a video game. What is the point in playing if you're not just trying to do pretty fancy stuff? So yeah, make it pretty. And I almost forgot the most important rule of all, not just in this formation, not just on EAFC 24, but in all of life. Have fun and be yourself. Whether you're a policeman, a doctor, a lawyer, any of those walks of life, they'll tell you that's the first rule. Put a bit of personality into it. In the 3 4 2 1, the beauty you can play with, it's full of personality. Now, I'm not going to go through every single position as I have done in previous videos and say this is the sort of player you want here and give you examples. However, the key positions I'm going to go into detail on and do that. Goalkeeper really doesn't matter. Uh, they should come for crosses and sweep a keeper because that should just be a given so you don't get caught out. But really what you're doing here is so you can get chemistry on everyone else. Uh, I'd prefer Alisson, I'd prefer Edison. I hate Yashin. I hate his stupid little hat to be honest with you. I hate his nickname, I hate everything about him. But he is pretty good, so he had to be our goalkeeper. Now the three centre backs. We'll start with your wide centre backs. Your right centre back, you want your best defender I found, because the other two are a bit more specialist. For me that was Cannavaro at the time, but whoever you look at and go, yeah that's definitely my best defender, a Maldini. A Carlos Alberto, someone who's just good at defending, that's who you want there, someone who can win the ball well. The left centre back, this is where I'm going to start to surprise you, they are on join the attack. I found I was trying to get overloads on the left hand side, you know, the left centre mid is the more attacking of the two, so the left centre back I wanted to bomb on, effectively between the left mid and the centre mid, to give us even more options there. So you want someone with speed, a physical presence, who's gonna be able to get back as well. So for me, that was Kosunu. He's still out. If you can still do him as future stars, I definitely recommend it. He plays for Leverkusen as well. He's probably one of the best centre backs I've used on the game this year. I think, I think I've only got one or two clips that actually show him getting forward, but defensively, he's a stud and he was just class. And now, 
the pest de resistance, the greatest player on the game. You all know I love him. Daily Blind as the centre centre back is pivotal because he is. He's the reason I started making videos again. I did him because I love him in real life, and then I was like, wow, he's insanely good on this game. Now, with a 3 4 2 1, we've got to be realistic. The left centre back goes forward. If you're sending the centre centre back forward too, you might have lost the plot somewhat. You all know what Daily Blind can do. If I needed goals, I'd play our 1x passes, get him up the pitch as like a second 10 because he is that good. But the main thing I found with him and the main thing I'd recommend from this is the fact one, he could dribble and pass so he could play his way out of defence, not going up the pitch but just play his way out which is really important to me, but also incisive pass. He can whip passes around to your left mid and right mid who are free and that's often going to be your out ball, you know, you want to make chances out there and he's fantastic at it. You can't have this daily blend now unless you've already got it and I'm going to guess you haven't. So I'm going to give you two recommendations of who you can play there. If you are like me, you are awesome, you are brave, you are strong, you are powerful, you are woman. I would recommend Bernardo Silva. I know you, you think I'm crazy but he's very similar to Daily Blind, he's just about a foot smaller. I think he would be a fantastic, fantastic sweeper, especially with his play styles. If you're not feeling that brave, it's understandable, a lot of you are cowards. My second suggestion would probably be Sergi Roberto. He's also got incisive pass, which is important. He can start right back so you can move him across. They'd be my two picks for you, these sweepers. But with your sweeper, be brave, be bold, be different. That's all I can recommend for you. Your wide midfielders, that is up to you. Like most people with a free back, they are on comeback on defence. But as you'll see in these clips, they get very far forward. Nedved for the price is kind of astonishing. Uh, I think he's fantastic. You know, you have to learn to do your kind of small pace speed boost, small pace speed boost, that kind of thing. Because Nedved is fantastic at that and so are most wingers. And Dina, again, is another one who's still out who I'd really recommend. He's got a really unique profile, as I say all the time on stream, that kind of speed and physical presence. But you do want a bit of speed there, you know. But not just speed, they actually have to be able to play football, you know. Dina's 95 pace but 87 passing. Nedved is 90 pace but 88 passing. Like you'll see in these clips, they're both fantastic. Like they can both kind of do it all, which is what you want there. A lot of people will tell you you need kind of out and out wing backs there that can defend. You really don't. They're both fine defensively. I think anyone could do a job there. I think you probably want about 50 defending at a minimum. They these two have actually got more than that. But yeah, that'll be fine. Your wingers are important. They will get your goals, they will win your matches, they will save your matches defensively. I enjoyed Nedved and Dina, but this is probably the position I'd say you can have the most sort of uh, creativity with, so to speak. I'm actually going to start with the attacking of the two centre mids, which was Zico. This is where you want your typical number 10. He's not on getting to the box. In fact, he's on stay out of the box. But Zico's Brazilian, which means two things. One, he's probably got a fantastic tan. And secondly, he doesn't follow rules. Zico would always be bombing into the box, getting goals. He'll chip in so much. Like, you really do need someone here who's got that sort of shooting, passing, dribbling. Zico happens to be really, really quick, which is obviously somewhat helpful, but it isn't an essential. I don't want you to look at this and go, I need a fast player there, I need Pedro Neto. You really don't. You just need someone who can shoot, pass and dribble because they're going to get in there. The other great thing about Zico is dead ball plus. If you're making a team to win games, genuinely having dead ball plus and a forward or a defender who's six foot three or above, if you can learn to take corners like I can and if you want a tutorial, it will cost you a bit of money, but I can give you one it will win you games. Like genuinely, it's boring how many goals I score because Zico can cross and Zerxi he can head. But Zico is not the most exciting midfielder. Neither is Nedved, neither is Dina. That man is. Obviously, I don't think you're fools. I don't think you're the brightest, but I don't think you're fools. When I first got Granit Xhaka in here, it was because he plays for Leverkusen and I were to have a few Leverkusen players in there but he is the perfect ball-carrying defensive midfielder. He's on stay back, but this is what I'm talking about in the rules. You have to carry the ball, and that's what I did with Xhaka. You'll see so many clips where I have it with him. He doesn't get pressed because they think it's Granit Xhaka, and I run 20, 30, 40 yards with him, and he's got incisive pass, much like Blin. So if he gets space, he can play an insane through ball. Like, he's got 98 short passing, 96 long passing, 93 vision. Like He's one of the best passers on the game. He's also got pinged and long ball pass normal. If you didn't do this Granite Jacker, I feel sorry for you because he's genuinely perfect in this position. He's also got Relentless and Bruiser, which just makes him, he's insane. He's insanely good. I loved using Granite Jacker. He's gonna be in a lot of my teams going forward. If you did him, good job. Seriously, well done. This is me shaking your hand. I'm proud of you. You finally made a good decision. Granite Jacker is the man for this position. 
and there's not many players I can recommend to you instead. The one I would say is Marino, Moreno, whoever no knows, the inform from Real Sociedad. He just got a, a upgraded one. He looks really good all round. He's no Granite Xhaka, I'm not going to lie to you. If you didn't do Xhaka, I can't help you here. But he would be my next choice. But yeah, this is all, what it's all about. Be brave with this player. You know, you can have Sour if you want, but don't pick someone who's just defensive. You know, Bruno Fernandes would probably be good here, to be honest. But don't pick someone who's just a, oh, they're going to sit back and I'm going to control them and cut passing lanes. That's not what this is about. This is another attacker for you, essentially. With how this is set up, the two centre forwards, either side of the striker, are your strikers and the striker is the centre forward because the centre forwards are false nine, we'll get into that later, but the strikers will run ahead and they're just out and out strikers. I had Xerxes and Berbatov, again, because Berbatov, Leverkusen, Xerxes, I wanted to try and score headers. I suck at scoring headers from crosses, I don't know why. I'm literally Benedict Tony. I used to be very good at it. I'm not good at it this year, but I still scored so many goals just because I'm good at playing with a striker, I guess. And also corners, 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 corners. I scored so many from corners. Here, just put your best two strikers. For me, that would be Van Persie. You'll know who yours is. Someone like Diego Forlan, someone like Morientes, like just out and out strikers because they'll get chances. And if you know how to use strikers like that, big ones, you know, back to defender, using the first touch flicks, all of that stuff, you'll get goals. Because the man who will be a pivotal point of this team is... False nine, it's Messi. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I brought Radioactive Messi about two months ago. I can never sell Radioactive Messi because he's effectively an icon Messi. Like, he'll always get chem in every team I ever use. How am I not meant to use this version of Messi? If you can't afford this version of Messi, firstly, sorry that you're broke, but secondly, just get normal Messi. Like, he's still the second best dribbler on the game behind Radioactive Messi, probably third behind Team of the Year, but I don't talk about that because I haven't got him. Not that it eats me up at night, I just want him very badly. But yeah, this is a player, you need to learn to dribble. You need to learn to use R1 to beat people, to go around the keeper, to set up areas so you can do cutbacks to the two strikers. If you can use a false nine, and if you know what I mean by that, you can use a false nine. If you don't know what I mean by that, you're never gonna know how to use a false nine. But if you can do it, learn those things. This system works so well. I couldn't believe it. We've got 16 wins on champs, as I say. It's only the second time I've done it this year. And I think you can all agree, this isn't a meta team by any stretch, but it's the sort of team we should all be looking to use. You should all use me as inspiration. Bit tongue in cheek, but also I do think I'm the best FIFA player in the world. But yeah, if you use these tactics, if you enjoy them, let me know down below. Let me know if you improved them. If you had any players like Granite Xhaka, like Daily Blind, like Granite Xhaka again, I couldn't think of anyone else who really impressed you using this that you didn't expect to, let me know. Because that's what I care about. I like seeing cool, unique stuff. I don't want to see your Mbappes. I don't want to see your Eusebios. If you put them in this team, I will find you and I will haunt you in your sleep. But yeah. Thanks so much for watching. There's going to be a few videos like this. I'm moving back to Tick Attack soon, so we'll have a full guide on that. But yeah, hope you're enjoying the FIFA Fella comeback. And yeah, Forza by Aleva Kuzan.